Ho 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 baby. Crazy guy. Hey guys. Hey guys. Today we are making vegan Korean French fried corn dog, aka gum jam. Last time we had this type of corn dog was two years ago when we were not vegan. So lately I came across one of Manchi's YouTube videos teaching how to make this type of traditional Korean corn dog. I'll link her channel in the description below. She's a really lovely Korean lady. Her channel is not about vegan recipes, but her food looks amazing and I love watching her cooking. So as of late guys, we have both been getting really into Korean culture and Korean stuff, movies, Parasite, EXO, I'm a huge fan of them. And so today we're gonna Sweet parlay game. that. And Squid Game, of course. And today we're gonna parlay that a bit into a recipe. You guys can try it at home and tell us if you like it as much as we do. So today's recipe is all credit to Manchi when I just following her steps and it just happened to be vegan. It's a very simple process. So we will show you uh, everything here. We're mainly gonna use two types of vegan hot dogs. One is the Yves and then another one is my favorite is the Beyond Meat mm. hot dog. You can probably try it with any other mm. hot dog, but we want to try it with a couple types to see which one we like better. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for that. Alright, let's get started. First, we need to make a yeast dough for the hot dog. In a large bowl, combine three and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt. In a small bowl, Combine 2 cups of warm water, 4 tablespoons of sugar, and 4 teaspoons of active dry yeast. While we wait for the yeast to foam up, let's start chopping up some potatoes. We use 2 large potatoes and we will cut them into small cubes. Now the yeast is ready, let's combine it with the flour. This dough is very sticky, so if you don't want your hand to end up looking like this, make sure you put some oil over your hand before you stuck them in there. Now the yeast dough is done, cover it and let it rest for one hour. While we wait for the dough to rise, Let's start preparing the potatoes by soaking them into a pot of boiling salty water for about 5 minutes or until it's soft inside. Then rinse it under cold water. Pat it dry with a towel. Okay, it'll do. 
and coat it with two tablespoons of cornstarch to absorb the extra moisture. This seasoning step is optional, but I prefer some taste on my potatoes, so I add about 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of paprika, and 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix them well together and I leave half of the tray for bread crumbs. Before I skewer the hot dogs onto the wooden chopsticks, I use paper towel to Absorb the grease on the outer layer of the hot dogs. Now everything is ready, including this yeast dough. Let's assemble this Korean french fry corn dog. Again, this dough is very sticky, so make sure you use some oil. Try to wrap the hot dog with a thin layer of the yeast dough and try to cover all area of the sausage. Then roll it onto the potato cubes. Use your hands to press the potatoes firmly onto the dough. And sprinkle as much panko as possible on top. Here comes Liam attempting to dip the sausage in there and wrap it with the yeast dough without putting his hands in there. Alright guys, we've been working on these corn dogs now for like 8 hours it seems like. It is uh, quite a complicated process and it's our first time doing it. But we're getting the deep fryer oil heated up right here. And so hopefully we'll have them, uh, hopefully we'll have them fried here in a moment and we get taste test with you guys. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh baby. Wow. Mmm. The cooking process for this was like really similar to something like donuts. There's a lot of prep time and then you fry time. And you know, you know you might waste oil if you're not frying things frequently, which you shouldn't. Fried food is not good for you. We shouldn't be doing this right now. And we do not recommend that you try this recipe because fried food is bad for you. But however it is delicious. And so once in a while to take some time uh, yeah. and just have some fun making fried food can be pretty fun. And it's really good fresh usually. Same with donuts. We'll do a video on donuts sometime. We've made those before. Mm. Very crunchy. Super crunchy. Thank you, Korea. There's not quite as good as EXO, but <laughs> It's pretty close. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to finish these on our own times so that we can really get in and enjoy them. But thanks so much for watching our video. We'd love to see if somebody uh, tries this recipe out. Let us know. Alright, thanks guys. See you in the next see video. Ya.